come your way? Ha ha ha. What a dude. Oh. 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 There he is. Killer. Swimming in circles. <laughs> oh. Fish on, fish on. No scum. Baby crappie. Gotta start somewhere. He might be catfish bait, actually. There you actually. go, there you go. I brought a couple bluegills, but it's hard to beat fresh crappie. You can't for beat fresh crappie. Catfish, catfish bait. Nope. They stank. That must have been the guy I caught, because he was beeline in the back of the bottom. <laughs> He's like, guys, don't do it. Don't, I'm going to warn everybody. He's like, I'm telling them all. Oh, drag puller. I feel left out, boys. Everybody's catching fish. You just caught one, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we almost had a triple. Oh, my. That's just, that's just what I do. That's what I do. I can't. I come. I see. I conquer. They know. They know I'm here. They're like, we're going to bite. Central but, Iowa angling in so the house. Right. I'll just catch a 26-inch walleye and well, throw it on your camera. <laughs> there we go. I'll be like, hey, guys, go to his video. You'll I'll, see me. With I'll this send you the footage. Inch. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see me with this 26-inch walleye. I was being lazy that day. I'm well yeah. aware of everything that you missed. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on the screen. Yeah. I saw you, you dunk it, you pulled up, and you came with it and came on. Why did you tell me he was coming to dunk it? Uh, you should be paying attention. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, what uh, else are you doing? I'm trying to, you want me to set the hook for you? I'm trying to socialize. I can set the hook for you. Fish on. He, he, he's about the size of that one you got on the ice right there. The bait. I was wondering why he was so charged up. Look at that. He's trying to get his dinner before somebody big came by. Yeah, they gotta work harder. Yep. Better than that. Okay. I got my ass kicked. I couldn't hook a fish. Couldn't get one topside. Meanwhile, there's 35 other veterans around me who are just smoking <laughs> me, and I'm like. To ignore, you know, they were putting everybody in holes and stuff. And yeah. I tried to not because I'm like, I'm, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, right? I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I should have. I should have just let them stick me in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one time they did, I had a really nice white bass on and it got off. The I was like, Man. Pride ruined the day. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta swallow your pride. Yeah. You know? Oh my gosh, this guy's aggressive. He hit it four times. <laughs> Probably about three inches. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Like, no, he's four. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's at least a five and a half. <laughs> Don't downplay my fish. My dad was the sandbar fisherman. He'd take us, and then he'd lay down, take a nap while we fished. <laughs> Every time. With a rod on the end on the sandbar? No, he no. Didn't, wouldn't even put a rod in. He just sleeping? Once in a while, he'd take Grandpa's old cane pole and maybe throw a bluegill out or something. But it was his nap time. Which I appreciate. It at least got me out there. Straight line. Yes. See me set that one? I did. I was a big one. for the sky. Like, what are you Reach for the sky. Well, Butters and Matt just left. A little too early. I was uh, cleaning crappie and bluegill I kept to eat for dinner. And uh, this guy showed up. Ate cut bait. So, I guess when the grease is hot, he's going to get eaten too. It's not going to suck.
bluegill, crappie, walleye, dipped in franks, cooked in whisker secret cajun. Love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. Give her a nice shake. That's as easy as it gets. Test the oil quick. Sprinkle a little breading in there. It's ready. And I'm ready. Sizzling. That don't look bad. Little sampler. Definitely tough to beat. Mm. Good stuff. <laughs> This new gas one, it's a dual fuel, you've got propane or butane. In cold weather, you're supposed to use propane because evidently the butane the uh, butane freezes up. So when you use propane, it's got this tube that comes out the side for your one pound cylinders. And then when you use butane, this door opens up and the butane can just goes in there. So it's pretty slick. First time I've ever used it. She's definitely cooking fish nice. Nice golden brown. That whisker seeker batter is pretty tough to beat. Coat's real nice. I didn't film much this morning. Everybody, we were outside just kind of hole hopping, sitting around, shooting the shit. And the wind was up, so audio wouldn't have been very good. So I did get some footage. Hopefully some of that makes the cut. With the audio, I'm kind of scared of it, but this is what the end product is. We caught, oh, between Matt, Butters, and I, there's probably 30 or so fish on the ice. I kept six, and then that walleye. I'm going to throw a little more Franks on top, and I'm going to have myself dinner. I got two cut baits set. Hopefully, uh, Channel Cat comes through tonight. If it is we will get a footage and then I've just got a minnow head jigging so so far pretty good trip thank uh, Jeremy also known as Butters for Central Iowa angling thank him for hanging out with me and Matt his buddy we had a good time got the heater rolling gonna kick back after I eat see what fun the night has in store oh there comes one up oh Got him. They don't feel bad. Oh, he's in my other line. He's in my other line. He's around the transducer. What I? What I? Got all kinds of stuff going on. He's in my other line. Need my pliers. Well, hopefully, we have more of that. Just switched over to a, a jig with a rattle on it. And uh, he shot up off the bottom out of nowhere. Nailed it. So we're going to get down there and try to do that after I fix my screw up. So I just woke up and looked at the Vex. And there was a fish on my live minnow. So I started jigging it. 
I couldn't get him to bite. So I'm gonna drop the crank or the lipless crankbait down quick. Give it some rattles. See if we can get something in. There's fish on. There's fish on. Hell yes. Just about put it away and put the metal back down. Oh, uh, uh, lost him at the hole. I should have got the deuce right out of the way. Come on. Dang it. That was a walleye for sure. Now he got off, I'm guaranteeing it was at least 30 inches. At least. Maybe 40. Dang it. And drop back down quick. I think I probably missed my opportunity. When you're using treble hooks, pull the transducer, huh? That was a nice fish. Morning guys, 6 a.m. Time to rise and walleye. Just put fresh cut bait on the jaw jacker. Fresh minnow on my other rod. I'm gonna go back after him. Try to call him in with the lipless crankbait. Sleeping last night was a little rough, especially after missing that fish at the ice. Kind of hard to go back to sleep after that. Then I started making ice about 2:30 in the morning. So all you've ever been on the ice when it's making ice. Sounds like lightning is hitting right beside you over and over and over again, about every five minutes. So, not a whole lot of sleep. I'm going to dig out my monster here pretty soon and get back after it. There's fish. Nice or crappy? That's a nice crappy. That's a good crappy. Fish on dead stick. Crappy. I was just talking trash about that. Nice crappy. Off the live minnow. Finally. <laughs> it was crappy. Finally downsized this itty bitty orange and chartreuse teardrop with a plastic and I finally found a crappie. That tells you the bite's pretty tough. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for the camping trip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast. You know, got on some decent walleye, some nice crappie, some nice bluegill. Tough to beat. Stayed warm all night. If it wasn't for the uh ice making starting at 2 30, I'd have got a little more sleep, but it was a good time. We'll do it again. Have a great week. We'll see you next week with the podcast. Thank you.